What's up, everybody, and welcome back to more Josh L5. We are still here on level 111, and I have just talked with Josh, and he said that it is actually unsolvable, so he went back to fix it. I guess he didn't actually test this level or had someone test this, which is a bummer. But now it is apparently solvable, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Make sure the volume's... there we go. All right. I got my one earbud in here so I can actually hear what's going on outside the computer. All right, so let's just slide around and get everything. This is, like I said in the last video, this is a really cool level. I like the aesthetic a lot. Everything is very well put together. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't really say anything more about this. So, um, by now, I'm guessing uh, that my... Main LP for January has started, I, I'm i guessing. I, I don't know. Well, wait a minute. Let's see. It's, right now it's the 23rd. If I were to start uploading, mm. yeah, maybe it actually hasn't happened yet. So mm. at this point, I'm going to give you guys a few more days to guess if you haven't already. And let mm. me know what you think it is. Uh, like I said, it, it's meant to be a surprise. Um, but as I also mentioned, it is... A, from a series that I haven't touched in a very long time. So I hope that's a good enough clue. It should be, just because um, I think there's really only one series that I've played, that, or a uh, game that I've played from a series that fits that description. At least that I know of. Maybe not, but there's only one I can really think of, since I've mainly been doing some other ones that I kind of go back to regularly. So Anyway... Um, I think this is where... Okay, maybe this is not what he, what he changed, but yeah, here we go. Is this it? Maybe not. I don't know. But somehow he made it possible to, to go into this area. Somehow. Let's see. Is this it? Nope. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, Josh. Where did you put this secret entrance to this area? That doesn't lead anywhere. Hmm. Okay, um... Here? We, we haven't really gone up here yet, so maybe there's stuff here. These are the chips we could get last time. So, yeah. Those are most definitely the chips we could get last time. I hope I actually updated the file. Okay, good, I think I did. This I don't think we went here before, did we? Nope, okay. Yeah, this is all new. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that I actually updated the file in Tile World. and I know I did that, but I, I didn't know if I actually exited Tile World and went back in. So this is meant to be where I'm supposed to enter through. Okay. See, I thought of that middle area, but this is actually more interesting, just because you have to go out of your way a little bit more. Oh, I'd hate to be optimizing this. This would be a nightmare to optimize. I think the thing that just stood out about this section over there was that there's so many squares that you couldn't access. Like, there's six squares you can't even get to, and they're all in that cluster. So, yeah. But anyway, we got all the chips now, so let's go ahead and head back. I'm kind of trying to hurry up. It'd be interesting to see what the fastest time on this would be. I mean, I can't imagine it would be that long, but it would be a lot of keystrokes. I mean, it would be crazy. Um... Okay, so remember the other day when I talked about watching um, You've Got Mail? Okay, so I've actually been watching quite a few movies from the 90s, like including stuff I watched as a kid. Um, and it's really weird just going back and watching some of that stuff just because so much of it feels so different now as an adult, especially since I don't live in the 90s anymore. I mean, it's one thing to watch something that takes place in, like, the 19th century or in some fantasy world that you're far removed from, but in a, when it takes place in a time era that was in your childhood, somehow that just feels different. Anyway, I, I just had to throw that out there. It's just really surreal, and I don't know quite else how to explain it. But now we've got carbon, hydrogen, iodine, phosphorus, and sulfur, which spell CHIPS using the element abbreviation, so... Yeah, I'm guessing all the blue walls are fake because you have to use the keys, and I'm probably going to be hearing the brrrr sound quite a bit. So the question of the hour is, okay, that one's fake. The question of the hour is, how do I extract all the blocks, and where do they go? 
Because I have to push these somewhere, right? I mean... Oh, this... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Okay. Well, I got that. Uh, anything else I can do? Okay, so there's a bomb over there. And what's the point of getting that? Oh, okay. So once I get the suction boots, I'm pretty much sucked in, pun not intended, to going through the rest of the maze. So I need to blow up that... Okay, there's a bug roaming around I saw earlier. Do I need to use the bug? Let's, let's just make sure we evaluate all our options. So is the bug trapped? Let's just follow it. Okay, it looks like the bug is trapped. Sorry about the noise, by the way. I don't mean for that to be annoying. So, we can't use the bug for the bomb. Good to know. That means that we need to use something else. And I think there was another block, right? There's this block. There's two more blocks. Okay, well that's good to know. Um, I guess we just go through here. This kind of reminds me of the uh, level by Andrew Menzies called uh, Bodyguards, I think it is. It's like where you have to go through this maze without touching the thieves, but then you can roam around when you don't have boots. Or something like that. Okay, so that's taken care of. So, once I get the suction boots, I'm going to try not to step on the thieves. Somehow I have to make it all the way back around to that, the red key area. So let's go back there. Question though is, is the blue key the only way in that? Because if it is, then I'm going to have to position a block right next to a thief, which means that I won't really be able to make it. At least it seems that way. Wait, I had to press the toggle button. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is a problem. I need to press the toggle button. But at the same time, in order to get to the toggle button, it looks like I'm going to have to actually... What? Okay, hang on a sec. Maybe the better question to ask is, where are the fire boots? Mm. Well, let's start with that. Where are exactly are these fire boots? Mm. Okay, I'm... I'm just going to still go with the fact that I need the blue, or the possibility that I need the blue key. And we got all these blocks in there. What are all the blocks for? Okay, I'll tell you what, why don't we just go ahead and do this? Oh. Well, that was kind of a waste. Uh, fire boots? Where are you? Um, this is bad. Is it this? Nope. I think I probably already pushed that, didn't I? Where are these? I mean... I can't get here without the suction boots. But I can't get inside there without opening the toggle walls. And I can't get inside the toggle wall without opening the... Or dealing with a tank, it seems. And I can't deal with the tank unless, well, I don't really, or unless I get the fire boots. So, where are the fire boots? That's the problem. Did I miss something over here? I don't think I did. Okay, okay, okay. What, what am I missing? There, oh, well, I can get through that somehow. Okay, so what... Were there fire boots here and I just got them stolen? I mean, did I just miss the fact that I picked them up? Okay, I'm really lost here. L let me start over, because I have a feeling that I've wasted lots of time, and I I don't like wasting time. So, first things first, are there, there anything under these blocks? Nothing under those. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, if you were to go here... Okay, he would go that way, and then go around, and then go down here, and then bounce back, and then... Ba okay, so that doesn't help. I was going to say, if I can get the fireball out... 
Wait, no, that can still help. I can get the fireball to hit the... Okay, I can get the fireball to hit the tank button. That's how you do it. Okay, okay. All right, I think I got this. Maybe. Uh... So what I need to do is I need to get the fireball to hit the button by using the blocks to guide him along the way. Right? Right, okay. So let's put this there. That will at least make sure that he goes into that spot. Then let's get this block and we'll put him near the button. Alright, I think this will work. Okay, so now, okay, that's open. So what we'll do is we'll create a little path here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that was pretty clever. And now he's just going to trap himself there. Okay. Alright, so that takes care of that problem. So I can get all the pea chips now. Except I need the toggle, or the suction boots to actually get inside. So that means I need to use one of the blocks to bridge the water. And uh, you get the rest. Now, does the fireball pose a threat? I don't think it does. I mean, it does technically, but it doesn't really pose like an unsolvable obstacle. In fact, wait a minute. There we go. That takes care of that problem. Alright, so I think the rest of the way is unblocked. Like, I don't think there are any other obstacles that we need to worry about. We're pretty much A-OK. -okay. I don't know what that blocks for. Maybe the... F Maybe that's for the bomb in case you didn't use the fireball, but I don't really see any other... The question is, where are the flippers? Are there flippers? I don't know. Oh well, let's let's just go ahead and get the suction boots. Let's just go ahead and do it. Get through the eye here. Alright, so now we don't have to listen to that awful noise anymore, which is nice. Well, I guess we have two blocks left over, not just one. Alright, well, I hope that comes in handy some... Oh, wait, I need to open up the toggle wall. I hope that comes in handy somehow. That would be nice. Alright, toggle wall open. Okay, so now we can head back out toward the red key, which will allow us to get inside that room with all those blocks. But what's the purpose of that? I mean, I almost stepped into the thieves. Okay, here we go. Alright, so do I need to get these stolen to get inside? I think I do. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so I can get some more block. Well, wait. No, technically I can't. Okay, so I can't get blocks from there. So what do I do now? Okay, let's get our bearings here. What do I do now? I got everything I need to get from there. This room, though, this is the mystery. What do I need to do to get inside this room? Maybe there's a block that has flippers and there's a block that has a blue key. Uh, is there a way out of this bug? No, there isn't. Huh. Interesting. There's a blue key. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm afraid to touch the other one. Like, I don't know what's going to be under that, but let's just see. Can't be flippers. Easter egg, okay. That sure is an Easter egg. I guess we just use the remaining blocks to get to everything? I guess so, because that's an H, so I think everything's connected there. So we just need another block. Okay, okay, okay. So, I did have it right. So we did need both blocks, and the fireball was supposed to blow that bomb up. Okay, that's cool. I like it when things work out like that. And hopefully we won't have a level where we have to listen to this noise all the time for a while. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of all these guys. 
Bam. All right. Ooh, and a point zero time, too. Awesome. All right, Flaming Sewer System. Okay, so fun fact about this. I want to say that I saw a, a preview of this level posted on CC Zone, or at least something in one of the death threads uh, where people posted their deaths. I think Michael, who was playtesting this set, posted a picture of this, and this was level 119 um, at the time, which, uh, as some of you might know, is the same level number as the sewers from CCLP1, but it looks like that's no longer the case. So let's see what this involves. We need to go down here. Maybe. Um, well, I was wrong about the not listening to that sound anymore, so we got a little bit of it left. Do I need to build back up? I think I do. Let's just build back up and also get those bombs out of the way. And also the water over there out of the way. Whoop. I want to minimize that noise. I really do. I'm, I'm trying. I'm going to try. Wait a minute. I think I already messed this up. Uh, or wait, maybe I didn't. See, the problem is that I need to get back up there with the... Uh, the uh, fire boots, but I don't see how... Well, I'll have to figure it out. Let's let's just do what we were doing. I shouldn't have restarted. I don't know why I did that. I thought I could like bypass those fire boots, but I had to go right through them, so there's no real way around it. Alright, so I get two more to use. So let's just blow up the bombs for now. Let's just see how that works. Okay. Interesting. Alright. So is there anything under these? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I see what I'm supposed to do. I see what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get all these out before I get the... Right, okay. My bad. Why was I doing what I... Yeah, that was silly. Okay, so let me just get these out for now, and we'll figure out what we're going to do here. Okay, so that at least gets them in a good position-ish. Okay, um, let's push you guys up there, and then we'll... I think that'll work? Wait, no, the bottom ones can't be there. Oh, man, okay. Okay, let's just push these up here. There we go. Okay, that should work. Now nothing's touching a thief. I guess technically that's a little bit easier in Microsoft, but not much, I suppose. That's a clever concept. I like that. At least now I don't have to touch the thieves anymore, so there's that. Alright, so now I can go back up here and get these guys question is, do I need to actually use these for anything? I doubt it. I hope not, at least. Alright, so now I get this and all these things. Okay. This is a cool level, I gotta admit. This is a nice concept. Alright, let me just blow everything up. Let me just make sure all the blocks are used. That way we're A-OK -okay on this front. Yeah, I feel so embarrassed to just have missed all this stuff all this time. Like, I, I feel like the solution to this should have been obvious, but it wasn't. Okay, so I guess this is the sewer area here. And I just made a loop? I think I just made a loop. So I probably need to get to, like, one chip. I like how there's dead ends in this ice maze by virtue of the ice in the corners. Like, that's a clever idea. Or like at these T forks. Okay, so I make a switch here. That's cool. This is a clever way to introduce like a fire water double maze kind of thing. Okay, so then I go back. Okay, that's cool. Me likey. I like this level. This is awesome. I just don't want to miss up. It's my only fear. Is messed up. 
Missteps. That's a dead end. Um, let me say this way. Yes. What? Oh my goodness, I... Okay, I, I just like suddenly spring-stepped into another move. Like, I didn't even mean to do that. How did I do that? That was weird. Ah, uh, th that's... See, that's frustrating. I, I don't like it when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how you do this in links, because somehow you have to do this in links. Okay, so... How did I do this last time? I had like... A few up here, and then... What? Hang on a sec. It wasn't like that. I remember it wasn't like that. It was something like... Okay, somehow I have already forgotten how to do this. Wait, there's three up here, and... Right, okay. My bad. Okay, there's three up there. I think that's pretty much a good way to do it, is that I could theoretically just go here and then... Yeah, okay. So that's not really that much more difficult. It's just a simple matter of putting one in a different spot. Alright, so time to do all this over again. I can't believe I did that! That was so annoying. But in other news, the aesthetic of this level is so perfect. Like, I don't know quite else how to describe it other than that, but it, it really is perfect. Like, it reminds me of the original sewers level that Tyler made, but it doesn't feel like a ripoff. Like, it feels fresh. I mean, it feels like its own thing, and that's the way it really should be. Like, this force floor thing reminds me of Tyler's level, but I'm glad, like, it's limited toward that. You know, it's not just, like, a carbon copy of it. Because when I first saw the title in that little preview thing, I mean, my original thought was, oh, Flaming Sewer System, we're going to see, you know, uh, a, uh, like, Tyler's level, but in flames. You know, kind of like what Rock did with the nuts and bolts uh, from the original game. I mean, I honestly thought that was going to be what it was, but it wasn't. And I'm, I was really glad that this level ended up being something completely different that still managed to, in some ways, recall the original. See, for some reason, like, everything is just kind of a little bit jerky here with the movement. Like, I, I'm i not moving when I feel like I'm pressing the keys on the keyboard. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just more afraid and that's contributing to it. And I'm... I don't know. It, it just feels strange to me. I, I don't know why. But we made it. Okay, so now we just need to do the other one. Alright, so this time we're starting with water. Let's not forget that. And I believe the path was down through here. And, no, not that way. This way. Okay, then we just make the switch over. See, it's like I took longer to step on that ice. Like it, I don't know if there's something that's causing my computer to lag or what, but I'm going to have to check after this video. Just so that this doesn't continue. Cause I, I really hate to have that get in the way of something and cause me to die more. Okay, so we, we're done with that. Now, where's the socket? There's a socket here. Okay, what are we doing with this? What is this all about? Okay, l let me figure this out. There's something interesting going on here. What? Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, it, it's almost like I'm supposed to get a fireball through here to blow that up, but I don't see how. Please don't tell me that I shouldn't have cleared the dirt like I did, because if, that, if that's what this comes down to, then that's kind of cheap. Wait, 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 I can take the blocks out. Okay, I can take the blocks out. What does that... Okay, let me just think here for a minute. I can take the blocks out. 
But I don't have fire boots. That's the problem. Unless there are fire boots in the block. Maybe there's a suction boot. Well, let's let's just see. It's it's our only hope at this point. Oh, so I can't use the fireballs. Let me just get the other one. No, I can't use the fireballs at all. So what am I supposed to do here? Huh. I'm at a loss. Like, oh wait, wait, wait. Right. I I just. Pfft, wow. <laughs> I don't know why that just. Yeah. Uh. Let's just pretend that never happens. <laughs> okay. We we got it. We got it. That's what matters. M Warner's Temple of K. Well, for those of you watching who don't know what this is a reference to, M. Warner is Michael Warner, who's the guy in the community, and K is something he says a lot, you know, is an okay. Lol, no. Okay. Let's just figure out what we're doing here. This looks like it... Uh-oh. So we have to come back through that, which means I probably have to go through this first. So what's down here? Let's just start exploring the temple, just gathering up... Mm. Oh. Well, we can't get that right away. Let's just, uh, let's try something else. Let's try going down here. Okay, good, there's there's a boot there. Oh. This could be kind of painful. Just saying. Okay, so we're, what's over this way? This, this looks promising. Okay, yes. Awesome. Mm. Not awesome. Okay. Um, why did I do that? I'm assuming that I that whole thing with the yellow key is going to be a one-way trip through that area into there, so I'm going to just not do that for now. Okay, we need to get that first, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, here we go. That's what we needed to do. Which means that now I need to go through and get everything else. See, the, the skates help because now I don't have to worry about using the the cross paths when I don't want to. So, I'm going to need to somehow get through, hmm. So what's the point of the socket? Okay. Huh. Well, I'm going to need to somehow do that at some point. Oh, I guess I get the red key last. Is that how it works? I don't know. Let's just keep going. We'll figure it out. Um, so this was the way up there. Okay. So I need to go back. Okay. Uh, somehow that red key thing has to be a part of this. Like. Okay. Let's 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 get this. We we can get this. This is not that bad. Oops. I probably jinx myself by, by saying that it's not that bad, but we'll try. Okay, so that, that's a dead end. Okay, so there's nothing to do with that. Alright, so we go back through here. I don't know if there's any point to doing that or not, but... At the very least, we haven't touched a single thin or recessed wall yet, so that's the good news. Question is though, what does the red key lead to? Does it lead to the exit? Does it lead to something else? Uh, uh, there, I'm guessing there's only one way to actually solve this, and it, it would make the most sense. I feel like I'm just doing exactly what I did before. Yeah, I think this is the exact same path I took, wasn't it? Let me just look around though. I know it's not through there. I think I went through here and that's what caused me to fail. So let me go this way. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, okay. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, people. Okay, if anyone knows where that's from, you are totally my hero. All right, California Chrome. Ooh. So this level seems to be a sequel to California, and it's placed in the exact same slot as the original California from CCLP1, which is cool. Mm. And thankfully, that's fake. Mm. 
All right, well, let's just do some exploring, see what we need to do here in this brand new fangled California. Whoa, that looks pretty dangerous. Okay. Whoops, I mistimed that. Let's not mistime stuff. There we go, that's better. So we got all those bugs killed, we got a red key. So let's just, let's clear out all the dirt and all the blue walls and all the stuff, because since that was such a big part of the original, is clearing out things that you don't need. Let's apply the same principle to this. Um, well, first of all, there's a blue key over there that we can get by virtue of having our red key, so let's take care of that real quick. And a chip, and a chip. All right. So the question now is, where do we go next? We can go... If we were to get a green key, we could go down there, since the water tile seems to be accessible only via opening the green door. Mm. Okay, where? what else can we do? Don't really see anything else, unless this has something under it. Nope. Okay, what does the trap button control? Does it control the paramecium? Is there a point to the paramecium? Probably a good question to ask first. Okay, I'm going to need to figure out how to get into that. Oh, wait, the trap button. There's a trap there. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's just make sure we can get that. Oh. So we can't get into Nevada this time, huh? That's a bummer. Okay, so the exit's apparently not here in this... Oh, there it is, down there. Okay. It's not in the same spot as it was in the original level. I'm assuming it's okay to go through. Josh wouldn't be that mean, would he? Okay, maybe he would. Okay, so I need to go through here... I kind of like this new version of California. I mean, it's less open than the original, but I'm glad it feels different. Like, I, I like the fact that it's not just, like, a ripoff of the original. It's actually its own thing. Okay, so I can get to the flippers, providing I push these without messing up. Thankfully, that shouldn't be an issue. So now I can go swimming out in the bay here. Oh, I like how he kept all the monsters, like, the from the original here. That's cool. Okay, so I've got only one ship left to get, so... My question is, am I supposed to remove those in some strategic way or not? Mm. I'm going to say not. Mm. Mm. I mean, it'd be awfully cruel mm. if that were the case. And I don't think those monsters can be released. Mm. Mm. So, oh wait, I can go through here. So I don't have to go through the thief yet. So the, the key here seems to be to be able to open up the socket to get to that, that. And I can't get to it otherwise. So let's find that last ship and see if we can do that. Guide this block to the water tile below the toggle button. Okay. Thanks for telling us that, Hints. I appreciate you. First, let's go and check out all this business here. Okay, so the point of this seems to be... Okay, there we go. So why do we need to do this? I don't get it. I don't understand why we need to do that when we can just go through here and get our fire boots and be on our way. Yeah, well, what was the point of that? I don't understand. All I need to do is just go up here and exit. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't need to actually do that, so that was good. All right. Well, I think we'll save the next level for next time. Only happy when it rains. Let's continue with this level in the next video. So until then, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching once more. It has been a blast playing through this set as usual. And we are getting ever closer to the final, final level, which is very encouraging. So until next time, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed yourself today. And I will catch you on the flip side. 
See you guys then. Take care, everybody.